Another masterpiece from the Krakanda deposit in the Congo. Quite, quite magnificent. Perched on a matrix, in this case from this angle, a matrix of malachite pseudomorph of the Azurat. I quite, quite enjoy this angle because you have this whole, uh, almost a crown of uh, cobaltan calcites with a little bit of quartz on the sides perched on top of that. The uh, the the dusting you see the the pale blue dusting in the backdrop would be chrysocolla associated. Of course, another point of display, and I think from a collector's point of view, this may be the better display, where you can actually see those those malachite pseudomorphs of the Azurite formation sitting across the top of the specimen. Uh, a pretty contact free. This may even be a floater. A lot from this section from Kakanda. A lot of them do appear to be floaters where they didn't connect to the matrix in any way. So maybe they were just lying in a in a thick uh, uh, copper rich clay. All the way, of course, from the Kakanda deposit in the Congo. Makes me think of the the old uh, material from Tantara where you had the fun. Uh, uh, dancers, I call them the dancers of Tantara, where you had these Shatukite, uh, uh, like little men and little people and little formations. Of course, this would be from the Kakanda deposit. So let's take it around again. Cross like that. View across like that. Lots happening as well. Uh, uh, from a microscopic or stereoscope point of view, an adventure to be had here as well. And then going across the top, pretty perfect. Let's go across this way. There you can see those uh, malachite pseudomorph of the Azurite formations. Let's give it a zoom in there as well. Please note that my still pictures on these look rather dull. They are actually very, very fun specimens.